Hey, this is Kimberly with Kimberly Dying Crafts. I am going to try to do a live video on a wood grain tumbler. I'm gonna try. My kids are fighting. So we're gonna see how this goes. You can see Xander. Let's see. I'm gonna watch. You're gonna watch? Okay. Zadie's coming in now. They're supposed to be outside playing. Santa! What? Here's Zadie. Mm. I see Yoda! It's okay. The door's open. Are you going to come back outside? No. <laughs> Go outside with her. Hold on. Go. Sorry, they're fighting. Let's try and figure out how to do this. I have my cup already sanded and primed for the wood grain. I made sure it is a flat white when I prime it so the alcohol ink oops, will do better with it. And it's probably a good idea to wear gloves doing this because this stuff does not want to come off your fingers when you get it on there. So I am going to put some gloves on. Maybe this will work. Trying to figure out this thing. So sorry it's taking so long. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this and see if we can figure out how we can do this without my kids spotting. Mommy! You did not pull it. What did he do? He laid his arm. He hurt his arm. Yeah. Soil. See? You going to be okay? I've been making them go outside and play. Say hey, Zadie. Hey. Tell everybody hey. Okay, so with the wig grain, we have a flat white paint that I primed on it after I sanded the stainless steel tumbler. And I am going to use what? the alcohol ink by Tim Holtz. It's I like it the best. And then I have what? this brush. It's a hard bristle brush to paint it on there with. What? And all you do, let's see if we can get this, is you just go down with the line. And if it runs, it's okay, because all you're going to do is brush it. Ow! Oh, like I told you, my kids fought all the time. I can't pull it. You see how it's going in? 
And it's okay if you mess up because the alcohol ink dries really quick. And if you need to take it off, all you have to do is spray it with alcohol. And it will take it off and fix it before you put epoxy on it. And it dries really quick. It takes like 30 seconds to totally dry. Sorry, y'all can't really see this. Let's see if we can turn it down some more. I'm using my phone because my computer won't pull up for some reason. You can probably use different brushes, especially whatever ones you like. Mommy. Yes. I'm sitting so on my back. Okay. And you see how it turned into. I think we just froze. The wig girl. See how it's turning out with the wet grain look. Yeah, it's just you saw it happen. No, I didn't. I see. I was walking away behind water. Constantly. I said, when I walk the ocean, don't go get in it. Did you not? Know, did, did it hold me? You're You know, everybody who's watching can see y'all fight, right? Instead of you going in there and playing. I just want to see you. Um. Okay, I And I hope you can see how this wood grain is just going on like that with the brush and the alcohol ink. This is one of my favorite cups to make. It's probably one of the easiest too. They were not even in here until I went live, and now they're all in my space. They were outside cleaning. Stop. Well, stop. Well, I'm tired of you acting. Mommy, what are those? What is what? The white caps The what? Them. Them what? The unicorn molds? 
snow? See different holes. I'm not sure. So I don't show Halloween. I don't know. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but it's up there. Be like you take it all the hot and the so hot and the like you don't. No, you cannot play with those. Me one or them? No. Why? They will break. I'll be super careful. No. Why? Mommy, what are they sore? Can I have? This is almost done. With Can it. I play with them? Not with my no. toys. I mean with my tato. I be super dancing to get them out. I would make it the handle to like two the tato out. She is asking about my new silicone molds I have. They're they are llamas and hearts and some of them are unicorns. And with the leftover epoxy that I have for making the cups, I'm going to make keychains out of those so I don't have any waste like I've been having with making too much epoxy together. Mm. Okay, so we have got the wood grain down. And that's what it looks like. And then to do the bottom, you just do the same thing. You go over put some alcohol ink on it and just do it like that be careful about the side of your cups the rims right here make sure you get those and once we're finished you have to clear seal it with a clear spray I like to use the Rust-Oleum semi-gloss clear spray because if you don't the when you put the epoxy on it it is going to change the color of the alcohol ink. It will make it turn green. And you don't want that. So we have done a wood grain tumbler with alcohol ink and a paintbrush. All you have to use to make the knot holes on these cups, all you do is you put a drop. Can I make a nexus? And then you just Mommy, spread it out. Can I make the necklace? And you don't want it to be round. And see, here you have a knot hole on your cap. And then you just put another drop. If you see how it's let me pick up one. Do you see how it's forming the little knot hole in the wood? And each of these will be different. None of them will ever be the same. So that's how you do a wood grain tumbler. So now this, I'm going to have to seal it and let it dry for a couple hours before I put the epoxy on it. Because I do not want the wood grain to change to green. And then after that, I will put the images on them. Which this is another one of the Login Life ones that somebody had ordered. So it's going to have the truck that hauls the wood and then this little whatever the piece of equipment is called for cutting the trees down and stuff and loading it on the trucks it's gonna have all of that stuff on it and i'll show you that once i get this epoxy thanks for watching bye